One, two, three. All right, friends, please stop, drop, and listen. It is now time for our endurance challenge. Everybody say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, this is our second week doing it, but let me give you a few reminders just so you remember how it works. What's up guys, Ben, and today I wanted to give you a rundown of something that I do during my jump rope unit called the Endurance Club Challenge. And this is an idea that I got from one of the, uh, the awesome PE teachers I used to work with at River Springs. Um, and basically the basic idea is you just put some paper on the wall and you just uh, tape a sign to it that tells you how long that club is. During my jump rope unit, I have three different clubs. One minute club, two minute club, three minute club. Normally my jump rope unit is uh, four weeks long. And so what we'll do is each day at the end of that class, I will give each group one shot at getting the one, the two or the three minute club. Fourth and fifth grade only go for the two and three. First grade only goes for the one. Second and third get to try for whatever. Um, also, I think next year I'm going to start doing something called the 20 Club where I get kindergarten and first grade to just see if they can jump 20 times in a row and they get to write their name on the wall. Um, but it's a really fun thing. The kids love doing it. And out of anything that I do, it's probably one of the um, most common things that I've had parents be like, oh my goodness, my kid was out in the backyard jumping rope for like an hour yesterday because they had to get in the one minute club. And so I know it's motivating kids to um, get outside and practice, uh, at least the ones that are interested in jumping rope. And if you want to check out a video of me explaining it, you can uh, stay tuned after this clip and I will roll it for you. Uh, if you want to see how I explain it to kids, put a stopwatch up on the screen and they can see how, how long they jump. Um, that way they can set a goal for themselves even if they don't make it, like if they make it to 30 seconds, they can try to improve the following week. I'm going to start the clock so you can see how long you're going. You're gonna do any jump you want except for a side swing. Raise your hand, tell me why you can't do that side swing. Ryan? Right, you're not jumping, so you'd be swinging it, but you wouldn't be going over the rope, so it's not an endurance jump. This is just like the pacer test. You're trying to see how long you can go, okay, without making any mistakes. If you can make it to two minutes, no mistakes, you will hear me call out, two minute club, keep jumping, try to make it to three, we'll stop the music at three. Um, make sure you look at the clock, that's why I have the clock up there, so you can see how long you jump. You might be able to make it 30 seconds, and then you make a mistake, that's good information for you to know, because then you can set a goal for yourself. So maybe next time you can try for 45 seconds, or if you have a jump rope at home, get your mom or dad to time you and see how long you can go, alright, it's a good way for you to practice. Please make sure that you stay in one spot. Please do not move around the room. And when you get done, you stop and drop your rope. You can do some stretching, curl ups, push ups, or you can just watch people that are still going and try to study them and see what they're doing. Are they jumping fast or are they jumping nice and slow? What kind of tricks are they doing? You can learn a lot by watching the people that are still going. Um, if you mess up in the first 15 seconds, so if, when you mess up, the clock has not gotten to 15 yet, you get a free redo. Everybody say, thank you. Thank you. You are welcome. So if you mess up the first time, 15 seconds, you get a free restart, just go ahead and restart. If it's after 15, drop and stop, stop and drop, and you can try again next week, no big deal. Kayla, you got a question? Yes, so. All right, get some open space around you. Everybody get ready. On your mark. Get set. Go. Let's give them a hand. Awesome job, friends. Awesome job. Way to stay focused and do your best. If you didn't make it today, everybody say, no big deal. No big deal. Okay, please listen. When you write your name upon the board, uh, make sure you don't write it too big. We want to have lots of room for everyone else to write their names. If you have already gotten your name up there, you're just going to put a star next to your name whenever your name goes up. Three minute, you're gonna grab marker off the cart. Go ahead and go to the three minute wall, put your name up there, nice job. Let's give him a hand one more time. Okay, two minutes, stand up. 